Hello everyone, I just wanted to share some interesting things I found out about an object that I printed with my Tronxy X5SA600 and it's an object that I printed for the second time. Um, I haven't changed a lot. This was the first print, this is the second print. And the first print um, came out pretty okay. There were some strange things happening on the surface that I also found in a first attempt to print. And uh, there were some artifacts in the surface that you can also just check out in another video. And I changed the design for the heading, for the head here, um, to have a more round surface here, round curves here. It's supposed to look like a flower. And here you have this hard angle, those sharp corners. I didn't like that. So I just redesigned it and I got this shape. I liked it much more. So it's basically the same file, the same size. I just changed this one and I added some holes here. But this is not a major issue. But when I then just wanted to fit the, um, the bottom inside, normally this should go in here exactly like over here. But then I found out, no, <laughs> no way, it doesn't fit. So I checked all, all the numbers, the measurements in my file, and it's exactly the same file. But then I found out, wow, I got a layer shift just on the first layer for about one millimeter. It's just really the first layer. I don't know whether you can see it here. It's got a little bit of an overhang over here. Yeah, and it's missing on the other side. You can see, yeah. It's just a layer shift in the very first layer. <laughs> on, on one side, I'm really happy about that because the whole print worked out really, really nice. But this just, yeah tickles my mind why, why this will not fit in. So I'll have to redo this one here just in a different scale to make it fit in here. But it really just tickles my mind. Another layer shift with my Tronxy and same file. Maybe some, I don't think it's the slicer. I'm using Kura slicer, but yeah. Again, a problem with the layer shift. It must be a layer shift on the X because here, where's the starting point? Yeah, this is this was the front view. I exactly know it because of those artifacts here. They are a little bit different from those from the first print. Where's the first print? Yeah, the first print had those artifacts, yeah. This is the front view from the first print. This is the second one. The first print had those two stripes and they were also exactly in the same file in this print that I just didn't finish. So this is in the file and here the next file, same slicer, he has those kind of artifacts. And also those little minor artifacts that I can also find on the file before that. You can see those little blips here and over here. Yeah, and some more over here. I don't know what, and some more up here. But overall for me, it's fine. No, but, but there are some things happening here. I don't know what it is. This one is supposed to be something um, with the slicer settings, <clears throat> but the layer shift definitely must be something different. That's 
a main problem with my Tronzi 600 steel. Just to let you know, this is supposed to be a, a urn for my, my beloved grandmother. And I'm happy to manage this design for her. And I hope that I can use this one. So we have special regulations here in Germany, but maybe I'll be able to just make her this special present for her very last journey. And yeah, we'll see, I'll let you know. Again, this is the bottom and I have to redo this just because of the layer shift. Wow. Okay, that's all for now. Bye.